It's the NFL on EA Sports. Getting set now for today's matchup as we join you from Sports Authority Field at Mile High. AFC versus NFC as kickoff fast approaches, Phil. Well, we have two teams that don't know each other very well. And when you don't know each other very well, you play cautious. And when you play cautious, you don't play as well as you should. So it should be a high-scoring game. First down on the way. Easy. Offense lines up here. And the give now to DeMarco Murray. Slashing to the right side. And it sucks there to meet him. As we set now the offensive lineup, one of the most physical wideouts in the league is Des Bryant. I think he's one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Des Bryant can catch the football. He can break tackles. He's so competitive. If you cover him, he can still beat you up and get the football. That's what you like to see from the wide receiver. This defense features one of the best safeties in the game in Jarius Bird. Safeties have turned into maybe more valuable even than corners in the NFL now because they're asked to do so much. They want them to tackle like linebackers and be fast enough to cover wide receivers like a defensive back or a corner. Bird can do both. Hauls it in deep down the middle. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. It's one thing to be able to throw the football that high and far, but it's another. He found the right receiver to throw to and put it right on the mark. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And he's on the sidelines and out of bounds. We watched him in practice this week, Phil. Practicing plays inside the 20. Let's see what they come out with their first opportunity today inside the red zone. Well, you've said it many times. This is where you win or lose the football game. They got the quarterback and the receivers to make it happen. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Let's see how they back up the big play here. DeMarco Murray gets the handoff. Picks up about two. The Broncos defensive coordinator, he's going to be happy with the results there. He was guessing run inside the red zone. That's what he's got. And they were ready for it. And they gave up very little yardage. Second and goal from the four. Murray. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. When you get third goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Breaking huddle at the six. The Redskins lined up, bunch formation. Third and goal at the six. Has it. Touchdown. Anytime, Jim, it's third and goal. You've got to decide, what are we going to do? Well, this time, the offense, nice design. They throw the football, and the quarterback puts it right on the money for the touchdown pass. the offense he executed the play perfectly and they got in the end zone like you said he got that two points the Broncos back deep ready to receive stiff arms to stay on his feet
Packers, Broncos. We're live at Sports Authority Field at Mile High for today's matchup. We got a crossover conference game about to kick off here. Any thoughts before kickoff, Phil? Well, these two teams don't know each other very well. So when you don't know the other team real well, you know what happens? You get surprised. A lot of big plays. This will be fun to watch. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Made on the They face first down. Brady, handoff. And he's brought down by Indomitian Sue. For the offense, its starters include Toby Gerhardt, the running back out of Stanford. Yeah, he's a tough running back, runs hard, not afraid to run people over. You know, people forget, Jim, in 2009, he was the Heisman Trophy runner-up, and the trophy was won by Mark Ingram. That's McCourty making the stop. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. The defense comes out in the nickel. First down and 10. They're setting up screen underneath and incomplete that time. Here's a look at a very dangerous defensive unit. This will be second down. He'll take the snap from the gun. Brady throws it into the big mitts of Rob Gronkowski. Number 12, Rose complete. complete. And the offense will need three yards here on third down after the completion. Wide receivers are bunched up. Throws to the right. Makes the catch in the open field. When you play a cover three defense, you protect against the deep pass. But the problem is all the underneath stuff is wide open, and the quarterback is taking advantage of that. First down here after the completion. They'll run it here. He's headed right. Good for only a yard. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. The Packers will take the snap from the 40. Play fake. Pass hits the ground and goes incomplete on the short throw. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch. Not able to get it, but what a job in it. Third and eight. Inaccurate with that one. The Packers are going to punt the football. you want to begin a series backed up this deep offense lines up here first and ten and they'll give it to Jamal Charles that'll stop the play right there that was a power running play that time by the offense it picked up some good yards nothing like it show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards that'll be second and four after the running play Peyton Manning under center. Play fake. Throw to the left. On the money. Got the first, and he's got some space. Oh, 
The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. The Broncos this time will go with two tight ends. They're going to run it on the toss. And they'll end up losing five yards on the run. The offensive lineup includes tight end Julius Thomas, a former college basketball player at Portland State. Yeah, how about that transition? He plays one year of football at Portland State, becomes a fourth-round draft pick, and then he just has an outstanding year in 2013. He is a terrific athlete. Ball's picked off. That brings the play to an end. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. They come to the line, and it's first down. Out of the shotgun formation. He's got the catch. Has the first down here as he's tackled. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league. So we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. One last play before the quarter ends. Looking to the right side and throwing. Hayden nearly comes away with the pick on that pass. It's been all about the defenses today as we welcome you back to the action. That's second down coming up. The second quarter is underway with this snap. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Troy Polamalu has an interception. Nice tackle. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. First down here. Peyton Manning under center. Jamal Charles carries the football. Ball's out. Takes possession. Great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Now first and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That picks up 11. You must be very creative in the red zone when it comes to the passing game. Formations, movement, do whatever it takes to give your players an advantage. That time they get a nice play call. They throw the pass and complete it for a good solid pickup. Smith that time in on the tackle. Second down now. The Packers come to the line with a bunch set. Brady is in the shotgun, pulls it in, and picks up maybe three or four. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. The Broncos come out in a dime package. And he's in for the touchdown. Oh, what a good job there by the offense. Third and goal. And what do they do? They run the football against the defense. And nice job get the touchdown. And the point after is good. Packers now ready to kick the football down the field. Stop there. The 
the Broncos offense ready now to see what it can do. Charles lined up in the backfield. First down at the 17. And they'll run the football with Charles. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second and short. Screen reaches out and grabs it. He's brought down. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. First down here after the completion. Nickel formation for the defense here. He has the grab. Gets about nine on the play. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Second and short to the ground. And tackled down at the 43-yard line. They're going to the hurry. Back to the line now. his man and that gains a few what a nice catch by the receiver gets past the yard markers makes the catch and gets a first down the offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion Manning with the give now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field they're going to the hurry up back to the line the Packers come out in the nickel again the lean on him games 11 the Broncos offensive line will be whooping up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field room. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution. First down here after the run. Jamal Charles. Charles takes the hit and is brought down. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Hurry up, two-minute offense. Second down and nine. Throws to the right. Manning into coverage that time, and incomplete. Quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. Third and nine. Manning uncourts a look makes the catch touchdown there's no doubt about it when you score like that to tie up the game it shifts momentum and it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side the Broncos lined up now for the point after the point after is good the Packers are back deep ready to return Picks up the football at the six. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20.
They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. The defense comes out of the dime. Play action. The Packers now move the chains. The Packers call a timeout. They're first. Number 84. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They bring in the extra tight end. Here, the ball is jarred loose. This one's going back the other way. They bring him to the turf. The defense comes up with the big play. The hit and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. Uh, they got so much speed on the defensive side. And that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder. And that's why they got the turnover. Great job. It's first down as they head to the line. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. From the gun. The catch is made. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. First down here after the completion. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. Brings it in. Games 20. You just can't expect your defensive backs to cover that ball. Uh, it's good coverage initially, but the quarterback had all day long, and sooner or later, these great wide receivers are going to get open. First down, offense readying for the snap. This play set up by the long gainer. Draw, taking it up the middle, in on the stop. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line, so what will the offense do? They, they better be creative, that's all I know. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. The Broncos with no timeouts left. The offense is a timeout. A short field goal try on the way. The kick is good. So that's going to do it for the first half. Broncos are up in this one. All right, Larry, thanks a lot. Second half just about to get underway here as the special teams are about to head back onto the field. Takes it from the four, and here we go. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Broncos bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. First and ten, takes it out of the eye. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down following the run. Taking it right up the middle, games 12. The Broncos offensive line is just whooping some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. Third down and two. Catch made. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Set up screen. Breaks free. Brought down at the 38. 
Well, the defense, they give up a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. You got to take some chances, go on the offensive, on the defensive side, and just make things happen. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Handoff. Running to his right. And that's Jennings in on the stop. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Double tight end formation. And they'll give it to Jamal Charles. They'll mark him at the 29. This is third down. No need to huddle. Hurry up offense. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. The Broncos have it at the 29. Jamal Charles carries the football. Going for it on fourth down. The Broncos take it from the 28. And they'll run the football with Charles. And he's brought down, but he has the first. I don't know if I agree with that call going for it on fourth down here in the second half when you got a little lead, but the coach is confident. They go for it on fourth down, they pick it up, and that keeps the drive going. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Offense lines up here. Peyton Manning from the shotgun. And he hauls it in. And he's tackled just two yards short of a first down. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Second down, three for the first. Manning keeps it. Got the completion. In the books. Touchdown. When you got a lead, you march down the field, and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient, or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. The Broncos line up now for the point after. Driving extra point is good. They're lining up here for the onside kick. And the hands team does his job as the onside kick attempt is thwarted. This series begins for the offense with a very good chance to score. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. He'll throw it over the middle. That ball has been picked off. The tackle is made. Isn't it awesome on the defensive side where you have linebackers can make plays like that? Getting that interception. It's not always defensive backs that get to make those plays. Linebackers can do it too. First down here. They come out in the dime package. Manning set, empty backfield. Jamal Charles off the right side. Tackles made. If you're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't fumble the football, I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. And this will end up as a two-yard loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. And now they have a good situation. It's now second down. They better hurry to get the snap. Set up screen to Charles. That's a gain of six. 
Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line. And sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. Offense lines up here. Manning out of the gun. And he's thrown to the ground. Well, the defense has got to be excited any time on third down they make the play. Uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. The coach is going to go for it. Peyton Manning will be taking this one from the gun. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Intercepted! And he's brought to the ground. What a job by the linebacker that time making that interception. Gets in good position. What a pair of hands. A linebacker who could do it all. under center that catch good for a first down when you're behind in the football game all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs good job by the offense he'll keep it on the play fake they're gonna get him here for a sack that's what you call pressure when everything around the quarterback they're all at his feet the offensive linemen are around him he sees the arms of the defensive linemen all reaching for him. There's nothing he can do but fall to the ground. Brady from the gun. Taken down and sacked again. So much on the line now as they line up for third down. will send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Wants to go deep on target. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. First and goal. It's Gronkowski. Touchdown. This game is tight. Good job by the offensive coordinator calling those plays. Leads to a touchdown. They're just slowly chipping away at this lead. Now can their defense come out and help them out? Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Packers official. Tom Brady's injury appears to be related to the upper body. Trainers are saying it is a severe injury, but would not confirm what the injury is at this time. He's got a chance to return this one. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. First down coming up. The wide receiver in motion. The give out of the eye. Brought down after a gain of six. The Packers will call for the timeout. They need every second to be preserved at this point. Second down. Offense lines up here. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Has Thomas. They'll mark him. At the 46, the Packers stop the clock in a hurry, trying to hold on to every precious second. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. That long gain sets them up here on this play. And they'll give it to Jamal Charles. Run it right. And they get to him at the 45. Hard sometimes as an offensive coordinator to call plays to catch the defense off guard when you're winning and it's late in the game. Uh, so they played it very predictable there. The defense was ready, nowhere to go. The Broncos will take the snap from the 45. Brought down at the 44. Well, even though they have a lead here, it's late in the fourth quarter, you still gotta be unpredictable. Keep the defense on edge. As I always say, 
make the defense react and not attack. So make them guess what plays you're going to run. Keeps it on the play fake. The defense gets a sack. We got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down, and they get back to the quarterback and take him down. Reset it, reset, reset. It was a close one, and at the final whistle, what a win for that one team. It sure is. What a, what a thrill to win a close game in the NFL. Uh, you think about it, how hard it is just to get one win and how tough it was out there.